Hey guys, and welcome to my Ranch Out of Time Guide, or Play Own Farms 2.0. So when you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. For the Ranch Out of Time, you require level 42 and above farming, and level 45 and above construction to construct the pens. And to unlock the Ranch Out of Time and play own farms, you will most likely, as a newer player, have to talk to Granny and go through the player owned farm tutorial first. She is located in the Manor Farm in Ardoin. After doing so, you can get to the Ranch Out of Time by teleporting to the Ardoin Lodestone using your Manor Farm teleport, going up the stairs inside the Farming Guild and using the tree to teleport to the island. Much like the player-owned farm or manor farm, you also have pens at the dinosaur farm or ranch. Pens have to be unlocked by using beans on the farmer's market, which can be done by talking to the granny. Pens are actually constructed using Anachronia base camp resources, so be sure to set your workers to wood, vines and stone. Each pen has a required farming and construction level and it will give you some experience after building the pen. Small pens hold frogs and salamanders, medium pens hold jadinkos and varnosauruses, which are feral dinosaurs, venomous dinosaurs, ripper dinosaurs and hypnotic dinosaurs. And the large pens hold all of the other large dinosaurs and their variations, so the rexes, skimmatops, arcane arpoterosaur and dinosaurs like those. Now here's some things you want to buy if you have beans to get started at the ranch out of time. You do not need everything straight away, but these things are the main things you want to buy using your beans. Beans can be obtained by selling animals to the right seller. So, a small dinosaur pen will sit you back 100 beans and requires level 42 farming and a construction level of course. Medium dinosaur pen requires 500 beans and the two large dinosaur pens cost 1000 beans each. The dinosaur breeding pen also costs 1000 beans. The ability to have animals breed in small to large pens will set you back 6, 8 or 10,000 beans depending on which size of pen you get that ability for. This is a nice thing to have if you have two dinosaurs or a breeding pair in a regular pen apart from your breeding pen and with luck you actually get an egg here and there. That is if your pen isn't full already. The last thing I recommend you buy is a storm barn costing 5,000 beans or more for the upgrades, but the base storm barn will set you back 5,000 beans and can hold up to 15 animals in the manor farm and this is incredibly useful if you have a lot of checked animals and eggs you can't use to get experience just yet, or you want to save them up and save your bank space. So how on earth do you get yourself your animals or dinosaurs for your ranch out of time? Well you can obtain them through various methods. You can buy them for beans depending on which tier they are. Frogs for example can be bought off the farmer's market, but dinosaurs cannot and you have to obtain them as a drop or get them from Big Game Hunter. And what I mean by a drop is getting them as a drop from the creature itself during Slayer or off task. The drop rates are now on screen, confirmed by Jmod on Twitter. Now whoever made this clear and super obvious overview on the wiki, I'd like to thank you as you saved me a lot of time doing research. That being said, a lot of the wiki pages, and I've come across a lot so far, are not complete and I've actually tried to edit a few myself to add things here and there to make it more clear. Every single animal or dinosaur at the ranch has four different growth stages. Egg to child, child to adolescent, adolescent to adult, and adult to elder. The total experience from egg to elder is shown in this overview, ranging from 5 to 190,000 farming experience per hour for the Pavasaurus Rex. These experience values only count if the animal is at 100% happiness when harvesting the produce and experience. The happiness of the animal depends on if you've been feeding it or not. If it's fully fed, it will be at 100% happiness. I'll be covering more on how happiness works and how you get the maximum amount of experience from your dinosaurs in your pens, but first, let's cover the rest of this overview. The separate time to grow per stage per animal is also shown on the overview. The total time is all the way to the right. Like I previously said, to keep an animal at 100% happiness, you need to keep it fed, and you need to feed it using the correct food. The correct food per animal is shown on screen, but generally speaking, the dinosaurs all eat meat. So raw bird meat, raw chicken, raw beef, and all other meat variations. 
One piece of food is eaten per animal per hour. So that means if you have four animals or four dinosaurs in a pen, they eat four pieces of food per hour, translating in almost 100 pieces of food used every 24 hours. Now, one piece of food increases the animal's happiness by 5 to 9%, meaning the maximum amount of time to get an animal from 0% happiness if you've neglected your farm or ranch for a long period of time to 100% is 20 hours, but usually it will be less. If you want to get yourself a bunch of cheap meat instead of buying off the Grand Exchange, which can easily cost you a thousand per piece, but this does require the as a first resort quest to be complete. You can also find a meat shop in Canafis, although this shop has a smaller stock. So, happiness can be increased by giving the animals the right food, and lower happiness means lower breeding chances and less experience when harvesting. Now, you can actually do play-owned farms in the old-fashioned way. You can have animals at 0% happiness, and you can actually force-feed them items to increase the happiness before gathering the produce to get the maximum amount of experience. Or if an animal is at, let's say, 85-90% to 90 happiness, and you want 100% of the experience, you give him a honeycomb or some milk to increase its happiness. Now, these items can be bought off the Grand Exchange, but if you want to make the items yourself, you can also do so. To make the delicious honeycombs, you require marigolds and you have to put them inside the beehive in the regular player-owned farm or manor farm. You then have to wait one hour per honeycomb, so you want to do this overnight, you just leave them in or check them like two days later, just pump them full with marigolds and then later gather your delicious honeycombs. This also gives you some farming experience, but to gather from the beehives you need the insect repellent which you can get from the beehive farm nearby the cafe B lodestone. You have to talk to the farmer and then once you have it you can right click it and add it to your tool belt to never worry about it again. So let's go over a experience setup example if you have all pens unlocked. For example, in your large pen 1 you have 3 corbicular rexes, and the same can be said for your large pen 2. This is the optimal amount and the max amount you can put in a large pen. In your medium pen you have 4 varanusauruses. In your small pen you have 6 salamanders. And in your breeding pen, depending on how many you want in there, if you want space for breeding or not, you have two to four cubicular rexes. Again, this isn't the highest tier rex, but this is just an example to show you how much experience you can actually get doing the ranch out of time per month. The reason we are going to be taking a month is because the large pen dinos take a huge amount of time to grow. In a full month, you can fully grow 3.2 sets of 10 rexes if you have three in your large pen one, three in your large pen, two, and four in your breeding pen. That equates into 32 rexes per month being grown, and that is 4.8 million farming experience, but that's only the case if you keep them fed at 100% happiness. In a month, you can also fully grow six and a half sets of four Varanusauruses in your medium pen, which equates into 26 of them a month, which is 1.43 million farming experience per month. And this is if you time it all perfectly. You can fully grow 9 sets of 6 salamanders in your small pen, which is 54 salamanders a month, which is 1.62 million farming experience per month at 100% happiness. That's a lot of experience for a small pen dinosaur per month. But the thing is, to have a setup like this, you have to buy the animals off other players breeding them, which is incredibly expensive at the moment, so you won't be able to get this amount of experience per month unless you're a very rich player and you're able to buy them through the player-owned farm animals trading discord, which I'll link down in the description below. You can, however, make a self-sufficient farm by having the best dinosaur you can have for your farming level in a breeding pen so that you can get yourself eggs, which you can grow in the separate pens, for farming experience, but it will be much and much lower like I just said. Now I'm going to move on to some more information about the ranch out of time. If you do not know how to cure your animal's disease, simply click on the animal and check on them for their disease. You'll want to check their eyes, legs and feet, stomach, etc. and look for similarities and resemblances in this image on screen. The easiest way to find the cure is simply by looking through this image, which you can also find on the wiki, which I'll link in the description below, and look for resemblances in one row of one cure. If there's two or three in one row, it will definitely be that cure. Then you want to select the cure, click on it, and the animal will be cured. This is better for the health of the animal.
If you want to change the animals you can sell at the ranch at a time, right click the granny and choose contract options. Then go through all the pens and choose whichever animal you want to be selling. You want to choose the animal you are currently growing in those pens. Because when you grow spare elder animals and you've harvested them for their experience and produce, you want to sell those for beans to buy the rewards of the farmer's market. It will take around 24 hours before the new seller arrives. You also have perks you can get by adding farming totems, which cost 200 beans on the farmer's market, to a dinosaur pen. If there's one elder creature inside that pen, you get the tier 1 version of that perk. For the large dinosaur pen, you can get a tier 2 version of this perk by having a farming totem added to the second large dinosaur pen with the same type of dinosaur elder inside. And with that being said, I have covered all the information I wanted to cover about training with the Ranch Out of Time. I hope you guys enjoyed this guide and found it helpful, and be sure to look out for a player-owned farms guide in the future as well. Catch you guys later. Peace.